It's an unfortunate fact of modern life that much of what underpins the growth and development of our economies is also contributing to the potentially dire levels of greenhouse gases in our atmosphere. If humanity is to avoid what most experts believe will be a global, environmental, economic and social disaster, then we'll have to rapidly reduce the output of these gases. But stopping emissions without stopping the economy is a complex proposition and is proving to be something far easier said than done. Dr Regina Betts is a leading academic in the field of emissions trading, dedicating herself to searching for economic solutions to our environmental woes. So our research focuses on the design of an emissions trading scheme. We are covering three areas. The first area is um, auctioning, how to auction emission permits. Our recommendations have actually been included in the green paper um, on the carbon pollution scheme. Um, our second area is looking at how to link different emissions trading schemes globally. We looked at New Zealand, Australia particularly. And the third um, area is looking at the enforcement the, um, compliance regime, so how to design penalties. The whole system is geared to put a market-driven dollar value on the cost of pollution. Professor Roger Simnett is the head of the University of New South Wales School of Accounting. Although these problems exist in the natural world, it has to be the business world that plays a vital role in solving them. Accounting has an important role to play as we work towards techniques to reduce carbon emissions. These include supporting all the scientific and policy initiatives. Some of the scientific initiatives such as geothermal, solar, sequestration techniques. People need information on these techniques to make informed decisions. The same with policy initiatives. We need to make sure that the government gets the policy right. This requires information so that people can make informed decisions. So business is coming to us to know what they need to do and um, we tell them there are about three things which are important for, for each company to know before emissions trading starts. One is what, where their emissions are and what the projections are of their emissions in the future. The second is what the technology options are, so how much does it cost and what kind of options do they have to reduce emissions internally. And the third thing is then to come up with a strategy to actually decide if they're going to reduce their emissions internally or if they are going to buy permits on the market. Trading schemes aim to provide a practical and economic incentive for big business to do the right thing. We need reliable and accurate information around the world. The accounting and auditing profession can help us provide this reliable and accurate information. At the moment we have financial reporting standards in place which are applied in more than a hundred countries. I would like to see that extended to having information on reporting on carbon emissions in those countries and we are working towards that aim. What I'd like to achieve um, is that we see an emissions trading scheme which is fair and equitable and at the same time will deliver emission reductions to the atmosphere.